Beautiful evening in Manchester as well. The pitch is looking perfect. We could be in for a real treat. Well, I have a real treat for you in the studio because a stellar match like this needs a classy lineup. Alex Scott has won the FA Cup seven times, but more recently, Izzy won it the year after you last won it. And Izzy Christiansen won it in 2017 and scored. And last night, congratulations, Izzy, became part of a well, Everton team that are going to go to the final. You were pulling the strings as always for them. 3-0 winners over Birmingham City. And the celebrations looked absolutely fantastic. On It was languishing at the bottom of the league. So what is it? What's going on there? Well, I think it's just everything takes time. I think there's been a team and we're in a final at Wembley at the and FA you're Cup. You're on a scouting mission tonight. I'm not going to ask you yet who you'd rather see. And Manchester City came out on top the last two, time these two met earlier in the year. 2-1 winners. Since then, they've added an absolute plethora of international names from the US. The best of them tonight just takes a little bit of time for them to gel and uh, they, they may well this might be the night the pitch looks great the kind of pitch you'd want them tonight it just takes a little bit of time for them to gel and uh, they, they may well this might be the night the pitch looks great the kind of pitch you'd want to play attacking football on unlike last night where it was a bit wet and windy wasn't it in, in Solihull I'd put to play on at Wembley whoever we meet absolutely and for Arsenal who've done it more times than anybody else 19 goals in three games so far for them we thought in the first half at Boreham Wood on Saturday that perhaps that international break had, had made them stutter a little bit but for, for the game tonight okay let's hear from the managers Joe Curry caught up with them just a few moments to go starting with Arsenal's Joe Montemuro. Joe, this is so where is this game going to be won and lost then for you for me like Joe said on the transition I think which I hate for Manchester City we're delighted to see that Sam Mewis starts because she's been in she's been out tonight she's preferred she's there and she aerial ability and I think Arsenal have really been working on being more physical and like you just said Izzy it's the battle in midfield tonight on, sorry, go on. Is yeah, it? absolutely. I think Sam's physical presence in there. The, in, if, if Sam, Jill Scott's on the bench, I think it's going to be a very tight game. It's also on the bench is Rose Lavelle. It's the first time we'll maybe get a chance to see her since she joined. Need be tonight. For Arsenal and who controls the strings there? Well, we were delighted to see Jordan Nobbs get off the, the score on the score sheet, get the goal scoring going for Arsenal. I think when we talk about Arsenal players over the last couple of seasons, we're talking about Miedemar, Kimmy. Performances he's seen from the Lionesses tonight. I have to say, I've been so impressed. Well, I suppose we'll have more time to do just to get together, you know. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> she's great when she's talking about this. <laughs> Shuts up when it comes to England. What did Phil say to you? Don't tell them anything. Is that what he said? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, he just said congratulations on the win into this second half. They did start to kind of build, didn't they, as the half went on as well. The last 15 minutes or so, they started to kind of put some passes together, putting a bit more pressure on Manchester City, stopping uh, this wonder wonderful overlapping play that was happening down the left wing certainly and, and also on, on we saw Mewis over the other side of the pitch so you know if they can as you say just just get into Manchester City a little bit higher up the pitch yeah I think there's times as well that Arsenal can switch the play <laughs> So Beth Mead looked like she was struggling a little bit there in that first half and she didn't she didn't seem to be kind of as mobile, had a little moment on the floor. And I was going to say, what changes can Arsenal make? But already Arsenal have injuries, don't they, coming into this? Their bench might not be as strong as it normally would be. Do you see Joe Montemurro making changes early? No, I think... After what you've seen there in that first half, are you sure you still want to face Manchester City in the final? <laughs> I'm not so sure at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, let's have a little look at what else... Thriving off the, the environment at the moment. Izzy, can I ask you a question? How have you dealt with coming back into the league? Have you seen any differences? Or Actually, she seemed to be kind of marking her very tightly, didn't she, early on? That seemed to be her job in the first 25 minutes or so. And it, so much so that she wasn't then able to kind of be helped drive Arsenal forward. She kind of went missing, didn't she, from that part of their game? However, Mew is still, let's have a little look at how she's managed to find her way into the game and, and really impress her, her ability to, to control from midfield. Stamping her authority on the game from the first whistle, her ability to find her way through there, the intensity, the control that Manchester City had, especially in that opening 20 minutes or so, really seemed to stump Arsenal. Absolutely, I think sometimes I am, but sometimes it, it, it's very circumstantial, I think that it's, it's just largely and here emotions of a different kind now because captain Steph Horton is talking to Joe Curry. I've actually got Jordan Nobbs and me of Arsenal. Jordan obviously at half. So let us now hear from the victorious manager. Gareth Taylor has joined us in the usual um, socially uh, socially distanced, COVID distant uh, two metres.
Thank you. Thank you, Gabby. That was an impressive performance, particularly the first half from your team. Yeah, yeah, I think you're... You bring yeah. in a Lucy Bronze, you bring in Alex Greenwood, you know, and yeah. they are four world-class players. You bring a two, obviously, winning the Champions League. You've got a month to even even more time to get this... this As well, look forward to seeing <laughs> you in the final. Thank you. She, she, did say, she did say, Gareth, that she was hoping it was going to be Manchester City that Everton yeah. would face in the final. She did it, but we'll see you at Wembley. Thanks, Gabby. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. You still you still sticking by that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lucy behind us is, wants to play another game over there. Look, she's got the ball doing kick-ups like she's not done enough running. <laughs> Saw her wander over. She had a chat to our Kelly Smith just came down from the commentary box. They were having a little chat a moment ago. And, uh, oh, I'm delighted to say, I think Samantha Mewis is coming over. Is she? Bring, come into the mics, Samantha, and we'll just have a, we're going to have a little look back at your your goal. You can enjoy oh, that. This great. is for for two one. It turned out to be the winner. She's just uh, she's just come over to have a little chat with us. We were just about to have a look at this. So, and this was the goal that uh, about the way that you've kind of been able, you and Rosalvell have been able to kind of integrate into the squad. What about, I'm just asking Gareth what he felt. Like. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, obviously there's there's all kinds of you know moving to a new year, and if I can bring anything to the team, that's really exciting. But I feel for the most part like I'm the one learning. Because, of course, you've got a lot as well to, to share from your experiences with the other players. Do you feel like they're sponges around you as well? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I got <laughs> back. <laughs> and that felt a bit like American TV, you know, because they kind of come in like that, don't they? So she's used to that. But it's still strange for us to have the players kind of running two metres away there. And uh, obviously with a goal tonight, a fantastic... Oh, hang on a second. They're coming like buses. Steph Horton's coming now. <laughs> she's coming down to have a chat with us. So we're going to show her goal as well. It's, all, it's almost like we planned this. Uh, Steph, if you, uh, we're just going to have a little look at your goal. So you come in, come into the mic and... Uh, yeah, and what an absolute cracker it was as well. Let's have a little look. Just uh, if you could just get to the mic there for us. A, a tough game, and whenever we played, Izzy said before the match she fancied Manchester City for Everton in the final. She was having a few doubts at half time, but um, you, you guys must have seen or you must have heard about their performance last night and the way they've started this season as well. Winning last season's FA Cup in about a month's time, with another one coming a few months after that. And um, the team feels like tonight that you've kind of a bit of last year. Excellent stuff. Well done, Steph. Thank we'll you. see you in a month's time Thank at you. Wembley. See and you guys. Best of luck for the next few weeks. I don't think anybody else is coming along, are they? But do tell me, because they're all they're all behind me, so I can't see them coming in. And and no doubt, uh, obviously, the tonight, you know, they will celebrate, but they will move on because back into league action on Sunday, of course, with Spurs as well. It comes thick and fast, doesn't it, at the moment, Izzy? Tell me about it, Gabby. Um, yeah, I think it's six of them coming thick and fast, so it's it's exciting. What do you make of the of the reactions there from the Manchester City camp? Measured, I'd say. Measured because I th they're young, the Tony Duggans early on. And I think the last two years, they've been there and still about. They had this consistency about them. But now when I look I would say, and I think now when you look at them overall in the season, if they carry on this kind of forms, I think they're in great con um, condition to contend for the WSL title. We'll just pause from women's football for a moment because we have loads of great sport coming up for you on the BBC, including this Sunday, a very, very special London marathon in the FA Cup final on November the 1st. It promises to be a good one. Very much under... What kind of final is that going to be then, do you reckon? Where are the challenges for Everton from that Manchester City side? I think we've seen tonight the way that Manchester City moved. They're going to be one exciting final, I can guarantee that. Very exciting for Everton. Haven't been in the Cup final since 2014. To get back in there, they're pushing to become a top three team again. And you've already upset Chelsea as well. So going and the way you're building for the future, your, your team's great to watch. Disappointing, of course, for Arsenal tonight, Alex, but you've handled it very well indeed. Great to see you. Izzy Christensen, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck over the next month. We will see you at Wembley. Hopefully we will see you too. 1st of November, 2.30, the Vitality FA Women's Cup. It's Everton against Manchester City. Goodbye.